So in this lecture, we will learn about the six important expressions in Adobe After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So over here, I have created this six compositions and one is for bonus round and each composition is for separate expressions so over here i'm gonna create one rectangle and then i'll select this rectangle i'll press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and then i'll press r for rotation and to apply any expression you have to simply alt click on the stopwatch and then you can type whatever over here so what is expressions now as you can see whenever i'm gonna alt click on something you will get this written over here transform dot rotation so what does it actually mean so it's a simple logic like if you go over here as you can see we have these two options contents where they provide add menu and you can animate and another one is transform which provide all the necessity values so in transform over here we can see the rotation so basically it's saying that in transform you have certain properties called rotations and you have some values over there so this is the basic meaning of expressions that they are logically saying something so now what we can do over here our first expression is time so i'll select this and i'll delete this and i'll type time over here and if i hit enter as you can see you are not gonna see any change but what you can see over here initially it's presenting zero and at one second it's representing one because we have written what time so basically it's showing the time which from this time ruler as you can see when our time indicator is on one the rotation is one but it's actually rotating if you see over here as you can see it's straight to represent this let's bring our one line over here and let's say i'm on five second as you can see it's rotated so it's taking values from this time indicator which is five degree and now it's rotated on five degree now there is another thing you can do with that you can simply type star which is basically into and you can choose a so particular amount for speed let's say suppose i'm choosing 30 and if i hit enter as you can see it's basically hit page down button to move forward like that so what will happen over here as you know time which means it's taking time from this time indicator like i am on two seconds so time into 30 if i open my calculator over here what is exactly saying time which is this time from time ruler and this time is 2 so basically it's saying 2 into 30 and if I into it 60 so you can see value over here in rotation we have 60 values so this is the basic funda of this expressions if I hit enter as you can see we will get this continuous animation let's say I am gonna type 300 so it will move a little bit fast so this is the use of time expression and this is the concept of expression and this type expressions so our second expression is loop out so to understand that let's see what we can do i'll create one rectangle and then i'll select this and i'll press ctrl alt home again and i'll go to around two seconds and i'll hit p i'll create one keyframe over here i'll go to around three seconds and i'll move this over here now if i alt click on it as always transform dot position initial written text over here over here i am gonna delete this and i'll type loop and then we will get this type of loop in loop in duration loop out etc so if i hit enter on let not loop in but let's say loop out i'll delete those extras this is my expression so from here if i hit enter as you can see after the last keyframe if i hit page down button as you can see it's taking the first keyframe and then again it will continuously follow the same keyframes 
so this is basically for looping animations but this is loop out which means after the last keyframe they will again run the first animation but if you see over here you are not going to get any animation because this is loop out so it will animate after the last keyframe now i'll select this rectangle here i'll hit ctrl c and i'll go over here and i'll hit ctrl v hit u and over here instead of loop in if i sorry instead of loop out i'll type loop in i'll delete those extras now as you can see over here they are animating this initially and after this keyframes they are not gonna animate anything so this is the looping thing now if i'll select this i'll hit ctrl c and i'll go over here and i'll hit ctrl v hit u for position and let's open the expression panel and instead of looping i'll type loop out like that now as you can see loop out means after the last keyframe from the next keyframe they will again take this first keyframe over here and then they will run up to this one and again they will follow the same thing now but over here in this open and close bracket if i type ping pong like that let's see what will happen as you can see after this they are not actually taking the first frame but they are going from over here to here so this is the use of ping pong now our next thing is wiggle now i'm gonna choose this rectangle and with the help of shift i'll create this rectangle compress control alt home to align that anchor point to the center and then i'll type let's say r for rotation and i'll type alt click over here over here i'm gonna type wiggle let's type 3 comma 3 let's see what happened as you can see we will get some wiggle thing over here if you increase these values you will get this animation a little bit fast let's type 30 over here let's see what will happen so as you can see with the help of wiggle you can create this kind of stuff you can simply apply this thing for any property alt click again to remove that expressions and but i would suggest instead of type this wiggle expression in the effect and presets panel you can simply search for wiggle over here you will get so many wiggle options like we have wiggle position wiggle rotation etc if you apply wiggle rotation you'll get something like that you have to adjust this anchor point like this then you can apply wiggle positions you can apply wiggle amount and you can apply the speed of also i mean you can manipulate them so this is the wiggle expression now the last one which is our index so this is a little bit complicated for some people but not for everyone so let's see now i'm gonna create this ellipse not ellipse but rectangle then i'll press ctrl alt home and if i hit p as you can see this is position property this one is for x axis and this one is for y axis but when in terms of expression we call this one as position dot open square bracket zero and this one is one so whenever i'm gonna type over here alt click open and, and close bracket inside that we will type position as you can see we will get this over here open and close square bracket and type zero then we will hit comma then we will type position open and close bracket one so as you can see we will not get anything because this is simply saying that position zero which means this 748.9 and is position one which is this one so as you can see our expression is index if i hit plus over here and type 50 which basically means on y position add 50 value let's add instead of y position hit ctrl x i'll add this on x position and not 50 but let's say 350 sorry we have by mistake deleted this one extra bracket 
as you can see when you are going to add 350 you get this let's add 150 so it will simply add the 150 but after that if i type star and if i hit index then as you can see nothing is happening but if i select this and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it as you can see it's we will get something like that i'll hit ctrl z and let's make it 250 or let's make it 250 uh, 250 into index i'll select this and i'll hit ctrl d as you can see we will get duplicate with each one is gonna add this 250 select all of them and press p as you can see the exposition of this one and this one is changed so this is the use of index and then we have another thing called countdown let's see what is that which is a bonus expression or what you can say tip i'll type one simple text over here i'll select this text i'll press ctrl alt home press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit then select this layer and go to the effect and presets panel and apply slider control like that over here you can get some values but it's not fixed for what for that let's go over here in text alt click and over here you will get this expression pick whip and you will make it apparent with this slider control uh, as you can see you will get this zero because the value of this slider is zero if you increase it as you can see you can change the value of this one with the help of this one because we have made this one parent with this slider control now you can go a little bit further like suppose initially the value of this one is zero you are going to create one keyframe hit u go to around sets and let's make it 60 but over here you will get this dot and another thing to get rid of it what you can do go to the text go to the source text and over here type mac then dot then round and delete this one and go to the last and make it like that so you will get rid of this so this is the extra tip to create this countdown animation with the help of expression so these are some basic expression that every motion designer should know there are some complex expressions you can simply learn that from any website of after effects and any other website so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next lecture